The thing you fear is the thing you need to do next. And if you don't do it now, you'll end up doing it later. Something that I realized this week, I've been reflecting on, um, I run a podcast with Tom called Don't Be a Doorstop. We've been running it for like three seasons, uh, 50 odd episodes. And I started that because I felt there was like a little bit of a kind of a, an itch of some sorts that I needed to get off my chest. Some of these um, kind of like category, uh, like themes and, and categories and subject matters around entrepreneurship, mindset, um, kind of like emotional intelligence, a whole load of stuff that I felt like I needed somewhere to, to kind of get it out in the public and kind of document it to some degree. And I didn't do it solo, even though I have done solo videos before. I didn't do it solo because I think I possibly like feared essentially starting something and figuring out how do I create now a thousand episodes, right? Um, so the big picture probably got to me a little bit. So I was like, what's the next best thing? And also I found it difficult to do, or not difficult, but like, it's not the easiest thing doing pieces to camera straight away. Um, you kind of build up to it. So I thought, why not do like an interview style? I really like my first million. They've always done interview style, uh, also like a conversation to people. So I thought, why don't I get Tom involved to do it as well? We can talk the same things. He'll bring some additional insights from like emotional side and the kind of his experiences. So start the podcast. I then do 50 episodes of it. Now I've got that itch to do solo videos again. And I think what I, f what I'm feeling is like a reflection. So super important, for, uh, important to have a function of self-reflection in every move you do or every decision you come to. And I think I've realized that I essentially have put off doing solo videos for comfort, doing, um, kind of like an interview or like a conversation two by two. However, I have had to come and do solo videos nonetheless. So have I just essentially because of fear or like a reluctancy, but let's just label it as fear just for clarity's sake, because of a fear of doing it solo, I've delayed to this moment and now I'm doing it solo. So are there things in your life that one you're afraid of now that you're basically doing a plan B? Now the plan B might be something completely obscure and not assistive to the main thread of your like vision or your purpose or, or like what you really want to do. Um, or it could be like quite close. So thankfully doing 50 odd episodes on a podcast is not wasteful. That is all adding to uh, my kind of content output. Generally, I've learned a bunch of good things in that process, which is great. However, wouldn't it have been better just to do solo videos from the off? Now, this is kind of like an innocent thing where there hasn't been any repercussions as such. However, if you're like um, a, a music artist, right, and you wanted to write your own songs and perform on, on stage yourself, potentially being a backing singer for somebody else, yes, cool, you'll learn the skills and you'll do all this stuff, but you're going to have to at some point put your start, uh, like, stand on that stage yourself by yourself at some point that's going to have to happen so why not do it earlier so then you're essentially kind of like you've not quote unquote wasted time or like essentially delayed something you've just done the the iteration that you've had in your mind that you've been afraid of you've done that as the first iteration rather than built up a build up built up to that moment so because i've just only recently essentially noticed this I'm trying to find other areas in business or like product or like um, music stuff that I'm fearful of something. So for example, like I, I feel like a little bit that I'm fearful of sending a, a mass emailer to all our artists that are on Insider to be like, hey, we've got this new thing going on or we've got this stuff. And I'm fearful of doing that because if I say like, hey, so one feature that we added recently was ability to submit your songs for sync. Now, if I send an email out to uh, like a thousand plus people, I'm worried that one, like they'll complain or they'll have negative thing or two, it will now require me to do follow up work. So for some reason, I've been putting off that task and it comes back to my first statement. The thing that you like fear is that is the thing that you need to do. I knew I was, I needed to do it. I was just fearing it. So then as soon as I have done it, so I did it recently, 
it was great. Like one, there was no instant follow-ups anyway. Um, and yeah, of course there's some unsubscribes along the way, but that that's just a part of the, the journey of things. Um, and now it's like, great, I can now move on. So yeah, keep on analyzing where you fear stuff. And especially if you don't know what to do next, like if you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Essentially like ask yourself, what do you fear the most? And chances are that's the thing that you should do next. Literally, it's going to come back around at some point that you're going to have to do it. So why not do it now? Um, so you don't then feel like you don't have the risk of like being disappointed because essentially you've delayed something or postponed something, even though on paper, it doesn't look like nobody knows that I've postponed doing solo videos. I did them before. I've then done a batch of like co-hosting videos and now I'm back to solo videos. Nobody knows, but I know I probably should have just done solo videos. And then in addition, then done the duo side. So thankfully there's no like losers as such, but I'm like, ah, oh, I should just be careful that fear doesn't drive me into creating these alternative journeys, um, that one could be drastically taking me away or just like at worst de delaying. Right. Um, so yeah, that, that's the thing that I needed to get off my chest. Basically. I also have had conversations about how to be a good partner with someone um, when your partner has a lot of ambition. So that's going to be in my next video. So I'm just teeing it up now. But if you have any questions about like whether or not you're the ambitious partner and your partner is not ambitious, how do you deal with that? And then the flip side of like, you are the one supporting the ambitious partner. I want to go, go like deep into that. So my next video will be all about ambition and that dynamic of like relationally, how do you do all that stuff? So yeah, just to finalize, whatever you fear right now is probably the thing you need to do. Don't delay it. Don't come with a plan B. Don't come up with a smaller iteration, like do this iteration. You'll be far better for it until next time. Shine bright like a Ryland. <laughs>